Great. So today I want to talk about the flat map method that was added fairly recently to the array object. Now, if you understand what flat does, so the array flat method, you understand that it's taking a multidimensional array and compressing it into a single list of values. What flat map does is it combines the abilities of map to modify the contents of an array before it would do a flat. So it's the equivalent of doing this, where we would have some sort of function inside of map. Now, if you don't understand what flat does, I have a link down in the description to a video that I did previously on array flat, so you can watch that if you need to. But I'm going to try to replicate here a fairly practical example, something that you may encounter at some point that you would benefit from having flat map with. What I'm doing is I've got a list of movies. Now, we're saying that this movie data could have come from a whole bunch of different sources and it could have been formatted in different ways over a period of time. So some of the entries in my array are just a string. Okay, it's a movie title. Other entries are an array of titles. We've got here, we've got one that's just a string. We've got a couple of empty entries, one that's got a bunch of spaces, one that's completely empty. Here I have a string, but inside the string I have a bunch of different titles. There's commas between the titles, same in the next one here, there's commas between the titles, but sometimes there could be spaces, sometimes maybe there isn't space, sometimes you've got a trailing comma and some space at the end. All that to say, I'm aware of all the different possible ways that this movie data could be formatted, and I want to use my fat, flat map method to compress this into a single list where every entry in the array is just one movie title. So that's what we're trying to achieve here. All right. Our movies, flat map. Entry is going to represent each one of these lines. So it could be a string, could be an array. And inside of our function here, we're going to say if the entry, so something like this, if it is an array, I'm just going to return the array. That's all we need to do. So if I save that and I run this, there we go. Here's what we have now. We've got undefined for everything that wasn't an array, but the things that were an array have been flattened. So we went through, we grabbed the things that were arrays, we passed those along after the mapping was done, then it was passed to flat, which turned every single entry into a new item. So we've got here, what was an array is now three different strings. What was an array down here is now two different strings. So we've got a flattened array with the arrays have been split apart for us. Now let's deal with the strings. This can get a little bit more complex. First, I'm going to deal with these empty ones. So in situations where there may not be a value. So we'll come down here and we'll say, okay, else if, and we'll say type of the entry is string. And if we took the entry and we called the trim method on to get rid of any extra space, if the, the value after we do that is equal to an empty string, we're going to return an empty array. So the empty array here, uh, right here, the empty array that we're returning, the reason we're doing that is we want to be able to remove these entries. Now a map, if you're doing just a regular array map, what that does is it always returns the same number of items that you had in the original array. So I can't, I'm not filtering and then doing a flat, I'm mapping and then doing a flat. Because I'm doing the map, I'm going to have the same number of entries. If you have an empty array inside of here, so if we're replacing this with an empty array, the flat is going to look at this and say, all right, there's nothing for me to take that's inside that array to add as an entry, so I'm just going to remove it. The flat will do a filtering and remove any empty arrays that we have. So we've got our arrays, we've removed
remove the empty strings. We have our arrays ready to be flattened. And now strings. Now we could have another one. We do else if type of entry is number and then deal with numbers. But I'm just going to say that I know what the rest of this data is. I'm going to say return entry dot split like this. So I'm going to take all of these strings and turn them into arrays. This is going to be an array that has one value in it. This is going to be an array that has three or four values in it. This will be an array that has three values in it. So if I save that, clear, and we run it again. Okay, let's scroll up and compare. So Dog Soldiers in Bruges from Paris with Love, Lair Cake, Big Lebowski, and then Memento is the next thing after Big Lebowski. So we have gotten rid of those two. Now we're into these last values. Memento, that's fine. The platform, well, this has an extra space in front of it here, so we're going to have to deal with that. Fight Club, we're fine, but there is an empty one here. This space is actually the space that comes after the comma here, so I need to deal with that. Hotel Rwanda, we're good. Moon has an extra space. Under the Skin has an extra space. And then these last three, there's no issues. Okay, so let's solve the problem of these extra spaces and empty values. And we can do that by actually creating another map method and a filter method, which we can run nested inside of here, just like this. So map, I'm going to take the text. And I'm going to return text.trim. Most cases, there's not going to be anything to trim, like ladybird, but moon and under the skin, we're going to get rid of those spaces. And then filter, we want to remove the cases where we do have this extra space that's just sitting here. So we'll say again, take the entry, and if that does not equal an empty quotation or an empty string, we do want to keep it. And that should be it. So let's clear this out, run it one more time. There we are. There's our list. All the extra spaces have been removed at the start and at the end. Any empty entries have been removed. And it was all thanks to being able to use this one method, flat map, where we consider all the different cases of what the possible values could be. And then after we've done our manipulation of the data, we're calling flat to a depth of one to remove any empty arrays. All right, so I hope that helps you out. Um, not something you're definitely going to use every day, but it will be something at some point where you'll think of it and go, you know what, this is a great situation for me to use this. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I will answer as many as them I have time for. And as always, thanks for watching.